name is Barbara Justice and I work for Disney's Kings Mountain Technology Center. I am the data center resource planner there. My role consists of many different things. The one thing um, that I primarily focus on is being the liaison for the technology center and meeting with our clients who could be anybody from ABC Television, ESPN, Pixar, Walt Disney World, Disneyland, anybody that falls under the corporate umbrella. So another thing I do is that um, I work closely with the install, move, add, and change team who uh, rack and stack our computers, pull the cabling, and port the cables to the um, data center. They also manage the warehouse and shipping and receiving for us. And um, I also am responsible for do documenting all of the computer systems in the data center uh, using a, sort of a CAD program which documents the detail down to which electrical outlet which device is plugged into. So it's a very detailed system but we can look online and see exactly what's there in our data center without walking out into the data center. It's um, kind of interesting because I started in probably around 1983 working in operations and maintenance at a 500 bed hospital. When I was a child I was always tagging along with my father on his construction job so building and maintenance kind of really intrigued me but back then you didn't work in that field if you were a woman. It was primarily um, male dominated field. So I entered that area as a secretary and I so wish that at that time someone had explained to me the, the many different options that I had facing me in that field and where I could have taken my career with just a little bit of education. The biggest challenge I face in my role today is learning new things and I love to learn but there and there isn't really a day that goes by that I don't learn something at work I come home virtually every day having learned something new but I sure wish I had had the opportunity to learn it when I was younger when I had had the ability to just read the material and retain the information and so now as I'm into this career for the third year starting my fourth year I actually have to take notes read my notes read the documentation and go over it a time or two before I get to the ability to retain some of the more complicated information you know it's really interesting that the um, mission critical operations field. When I first started in engineering and maintenance in the hospital back in 1983, there were no women that I encountered in 10 years in that department other than other secretaries. And now I am privileged to be in the mission critical field again. And I still uh, have the opportunity to work with other women, but now those women are executives, they're engineers, they're sales, they're marketing, and there's so many different fields that they're in, and it's a great opportunity for me as a newcomer to the field to be able to learn from these experts. I think that um, being a woman and entering the mission critical program could be particularly advantageous if you have any interest in any of the, the towers of service that might be included. If you have any interest in IT or networking or HVAC, the opportunities are there for work and I cannot see in the, in the future any lessening of the, the need for those kind of people. But I think that more importantly, as most people are equal opportunity employers as a woman entering the field of mission critical, you might have an advantage over other people endeavoring for the same job that you are.